I'm not really sure yet. Um, I'd like I'd like something different, and I'd like some sort of a, a government that would be able to sit down with lots of different people and, and discuss it all from different parties and different walks of life. Um, it just seems so much more sensible. Um, I think probably there are a lot of people who agree with me and who aren't really sure how they're going to vote yet. What happens at this election will decide what kind of Britain you and your children will live in for the rest of your lives. And that's a decision you can't put off until next time. Maybe you did that last time. But now things are getting worse. And you know they are. Prices are rising faster. Bigger bills keep on coming in. Your money is losing its meaning. Your savings are going down the drain. And so is your peace of mind. Because you can't even be sure of your job. Something has got to be done. And somebody has got to know what to do. All through the election campaign, we've been up and down the country, talking and listening and looking at what's happening and why it's happening and what can be done about it. There's no doubt the crisis be is beginning to bite very hard indeed. All over the country, we're seeing new kinds of need, new kinds of hardship. We're seeing the real price which inflation makes people pay. Thousands and thousands of people who want nothing more than to be left to get on with their lives are now finding that they can no longer make ends meet. Life is getting too much for them. And they wonder, does anybody care? Lots of small firms, and some not so small firms, are suddenly finding that they haven't got the cash to carry on. So they've got to lay people off. And they wonder, does anybody know? Everywhere, people who've never asked for much now feel that they have nothing and to nobody. And these people are then told by Labour that there is no meeting point, to use Labour's own words, no meeting point between them and the people Labour claim to represent. But there are millions of people Labour don't represent. Most of the people of this country, in fact. And Labour dare to say, no meeting point. No meeting point because you don't happen to agree. No meeting point, even though we're all British. No wonder people feel forgotten. Well, we've not forgotten them. They've told us what's worrying them, and we're going to give them a new deal. A new deal for Britain. In this crisis, the first thing we must do is to protect people wherever we can. And through the campaign, we've spelt out how. There's no such thing as security if you haven't got a roof over your head. The first thing we must protect is people's homes. So there'll be a new deal for homes. First, the mortgage rate will be cut to 9.5%. That's for all mortgages, not just new ones. Whatever you're paying now, 9.5% by Christmas. Second, help with the deposit for the first mortgage. If you save, the state will help you. Third, for council tenants, the right in law to buy their home at two-thirds of its market value. Fourth, an end to the domestic rates within five years and immediate action now. All of that will help, and it will help millions of people now. Next, we must protect people's pensions, and we shall do that now. So, a new deal for pensions. First, pensions will be increased twice a year, and the first increase will be by February at the latest. Second, this applies to old age pensions, public service pensions, and disability pensions. Third, the £10 Christmas bonus the Conservatives started will be paid this year as usual. Fourth, we shall relax the earnings rule and scrap it as soon as we can. Fifth, the starting point at which people over 65 pay tax will also be raised. Now these five measures really do add up to a new deal for the pensioner. And all of that will help. 
And of course, the other thing we've got to protect is people's jobs. We've got to get rid of these labor policies that are actually causing more and more unemployment. So there's a new deal for industry. Industry will be allowed to keep the cash to pay its way and provide the jobs people need. And again, that will help. We can't create jobs overnight, but we can make a start. We will do all of these things right away. They can't wait. They will help us hold the line against inflation. They're all practical. They're all possible. They must be done. Is there really no meeting point between the parties on things like these? Now, I've told you very clearly where we stand. That's what you're voting for if you vote Conservative. If I were you, I'd ask myself what voting Labour means, or even voting Liberal, because those Liberal votes gave you a Labour government last time, and it could very easily happen again, for all the wrong reasons. If you vote Labour, for instance, you'll be voting for nationalisation. You may choose to think you're voting for something else, but that's what you'll get. You can't have one without the other. And this is what it means. It means higher prices, fewer jobs, and no choice. No choice of goods, no choice of jobs. And the state pushing its nose into every aspect of your life. Is that what you want? Labour wants you to put your money on the same old deal all over again. Well, it's your money. I must warn you, the next Labour government will be nothing like the last one. We've yet to see their true colours, but we will do if you give them the chance. Within five years, you wouldn't recognise this country, and your children certainly won't, and there'll be no way back. Is that what you want? Ask yourself what's important in your life. What are Labour likely to do for you? Are you self-employed? Perhaps you own your own shop or small business. Labour will increase your national insurance contributions by as much as £160 a year. A Conservative government will put a stop to that. And if you're a farmer, a Conservative government will give you an immediate review and more cash. You won't get that if Labour gets in. And with Labour and their taxes, you may not even be able to pass your farm on to your son. Unless you're one of what Labour consider the useful people, Labour will leave you out. All they want is your vote, and they are quite prepared to try to frighten you into giving it to them. Vote for us or else, is what they say. Well, it won't work. In this country, we vote with our hearts and we vote in private. We're not to be bought and we're not to be bullied. We've never faced the kind of problems which we're facing today. It's a different and dangerous world out there. We can't cope with it by looking inwards all the time. We've got to keep our friends, we've got to make new friends for our security and for our future. And we can't go on doing things in the old way. It doesn't work anymore. And people know it doesn't work. They want to see something different. They use different words to express it. But they're all saying the same thing. They're saying, things are serious, so why don't you politicians stop arguing, get together and sort things out? And it's a good question. Why can't we? It's the only way, the only sensible way, to tackle our long-term problems. No one party has all the right answers. How can it? We must get together for all our sakes. Only one party, the Conservative Party, has said that it will. We will form a coalition of talents that can put Britain back on course, that can unite this country. It must be the right answer. It must at least be right to try. If you will tell us by your vote that this is what you want, I believe that men of goodwill from all parties will listen to the voice of Britain. This country belongs to us all. How can we be strangers one to another? We must get together and work together. If it means sacrifices, we shall make sacrifices together. But we must find the meeting point. If you elect a conservative majority, I promise you this. This country will come through. There will be a new beginning. There will be new hope. 
It is the only way.